Midnight hags. What is to do? A deed without a name. I conjure you by that which you profess. However you come to know it, answer me to what I ask you. Speak to me, your answer. Say if that's rather hear it from our mouths or from our master. All of them. Let me see them. Pouring sow's blood that have eaten her nine feathers. Grease that's sweating from the murderer's gibbet. Throw into the flame. Come on, I or no, thyself. Show. Tell me, thou unknown power. He knows thy thought. Hear his speech, but say thou not. Macbeth, 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 beware Macduff. Beware the pain of fight. Dismiss me enough. Whatever thou art for thy good caution, thanks. Thou hast harped my fear aright. But one word more. He will not be commanded. Here's another, more potent than the first. Macbeth! 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 And I three years I'd hear thee. Be bloody, bold, and resolute. Love to scorn the power of man. For none of woman born shall harm Macbeth. Then <laughs> live, Macduff! What need I fear of thee? But yet I'll make assurance double sure and take a bond of fate. Thou shalt not live, that I may tell pale-hearted fear it lies and sleep in spite of thunder. What is this that rises like the issue of a king and wears upon his baby brow the round and top of sovereignty? Listen, but speak not to it. Shall never vanquish thee until great Burnham Wood to hide on Sine Hill shall come against him. That will never be. Who can impress the forest, bid the tree unfix his earthbound root? Yet my heart throbs to know one thing. Tell me if your art can tell so much. Shall Banquo's issue ever reign in this kingdom? Seek to know no more. I will be satisfied. Deny me this, and an eternal curse fall on you. Let me know. Show, show, show. Show his eyes and weave his heart. Come like shadows, so depart. Macbeth, thou art too like the spirit of Banquo. Down. Thy crown the seer mine eyeballs. Macbeth. And thy hair, thou other gold-bound brow, is like the first. A third is like the former. Macbeth. Filthy hags, why do you show me this? Macbeth. Oh, not I. Macbeth. For till the lines stretch out to the crack of doom. Macbeth. Another yet. Macbeth. A seventh I'll see no more. Macbeth. And yet the eighth appears who bears a glass which shows me many more. And some I see the twofold balls and treble scepters carry. Horrible sight. Macbeth. Now I see it is true. For the blood bolted Banquo smiles upon me and points at them for his. What is this so? Lo oh, you, here she comes. This is her very guise upon my life fast asleep. Observe her. Stand close. How came she by that taper? Why, it stood by her. She has light by her continually. It is her command. You see, her eyes are open. Aye, but their sense is shut. What is it she does now? Look how she rubs her hands. It is an accustomed action with her to seem thus washing her hands. I have known her continuing this a quarter of an hour. Yet here's a spot. Hark, she speaks. I will set down what comes from her to satisfy my remembrance the more strongly. Out, damned spot, out, I say. Why, 
one, two, why then it is time to do it. Hell is murky. If I'm a lord, fire, soldier, and a beard, what need we fear? Who knows it when none can call our power to account? Yet who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? Do you mark that? The thane of wife had a wife. Where is she now? What will these hands ne'er be clean? No more of that, my lord, no more of that. You mar all with this starting. Go to, go to. You have known what you should not do. She has spoke what she should not. I am sure of that. Heaven knows what she has known. Yes, the smell of the blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. What a sigh is there. The heart is sorely charged. I would not have such a heart in my bosom for the dignity of the whole body. Wash your hands. Put on your nightgown. Look not so pale. I tell you yet again, Banquo's buried. He cannot come out on his grave. Even so. To bed. To bed. There's knocking at the gate. Come. 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 Give me your hand. What's done cannot be undone. To bed. The queen dies by her own hand. Burnham Wood moves to Dunsinane as predicted by the three witches. And now their final prophecy comes true as Macbeth faces Duncan in the stormy battle scenes which climax this great Shakespearean drama. and with no stroke of mine, my wife and children's ghosts will haunt me still. I cannot strike a wretched curds whose arms are hired to bear their staves. Either thou, Macbeth, or else my sword with an unbattered edge I sheathe again, undeeded. There thou shalt be, by this great clatter, one of greatest note seems bruited. Let me find him, fortune, and more I beg not. Take, I cannot fly. But bear like I must fight the cause. What's he that was not born of woman? Such a one am I to fear or none. Turn, hellhound! Turn! Of all men else I have avoided thee. But get thee back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. I have no words. My voice is in my sword, thou bloodier villain than terms can give thee out. Thou losest labor, as easy mayst thou the entrenched air with thy keen sword impress as make me bleed. Let fall thy blade on vulnerable crests. I bear a charmed life. Which must not yield to one of woman born. Despair thy charm, and let the angel whom thou still hast served tell thee Macduff was from his mother's womb untimely ripped. Curse it be that tongue that tells me so. For it hath cowed my better part of man. And be these juggling fiends no more believed that palter with us in a double sense, that keep the word of promise to our ear and break it to our hope, I'll not fight with thee. Then yield thee, coward, and lift up in the show and gaze of the time. We'll have thee as our rare monsters are, painted upon a pole. And under it, here you may see the time. I will not yield to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet and to be baited with a rabble's curse. Though Burnham would be come to dance in Ain, and thou opposed being of no woman born, yet I will try the last. Before my body I throw my warlike shield. Lay on, Macduff, and damned be him that first cries, Hold enough! Hail, Mal 
Duncan, King of Scotland. See where stands the usurper's cursed head. The time is free. I see thee compassed with thy kingdom's pearl that speak my salutation in their minds, whose voices I desire aloud with mine. Hail, King of Scotland! Hail, King of Scotland! Hail, 